listen Do your own math And learn from the stuff that you are missing Create your own path With your own vision Hey, Rodney Porter, Homeless Not Helpless TV, today's entry, don't be afraid to be great. This day, November 1st, 2010, Monday. I love nature, I love the outdoors, so that's why you got a chance to witness this beautiful tank, just like these fishes, these Oscars, this scavenger, catfish and bass. They're not afraid. But I was very afraid in my own inner self. As a kid, I thought stupidly, I don't want people to think a certain way about me in a negative way. So if I was good in a lot of things, I wouldn't want to have people going, oh, he can do this, he can do that, he think he can do that, and bring bad attention to myself. So stupidly, I just stopped going as hard as I could. I would do it, but not to my 100% ability when I know I was capable of doing incredible things and certain things that I do. You know, I'm just thinking that uh, me suppressing all of these things is why I'm in this situation right now. I did a show last week about a few weeks ago about I got my place and that should be the happiest thing on my mind but it's not you have to re prioritize what's going on with yourself just because you get a place don't mean okay it's on now you gotta get more and more and more things Establish. You can't be afraid to be great. When I do things, I go all out. But most of the time, I love the satisfaction of knowing I competed and that I won. But I'll stop. Completely stop. trying to get better and not caring what other people say, other people think. There's a lot of other people that don't care about what people think. But I do. But I also realize that I can do it in a different way where it doesn't affect me. 
doing this, doing that. I always felt I could do it a different way, but I could do it better. I always felt that, but I would never go and do better. Do the research and the homework and work out and study and whatever I'm doing, know exactly what's going on. I didn't do that, but I know I'm more than capable of doing it. A new time is about to start for me, and it's actually starting, and it started a little while ago, where a friend of mine said, man, you got to step on the gas. And I always said I wanted to drive enough speed where I can at least see what's going on around me. But it's time to step on the gas. I'm a defensive driver by nature. But it's time to be aggressive in a smart way. Not be afraid of what anybody thinks because they'll know my heart is genuine. And if people don't understand that or like that, what can I do about it? Not a damn thing. But I will say this, if you feel the same way about not going all out about what you can do because what other people think, other people say that affected me if that's affecting you stop that shit because you'll go down and down and down and who knows how long it'll take for you to come back up so I'm here to tell you Rodney Porter a grown man still trying to get it together and getting it together. And I'm young. My spirit is young. My heart, I exude youthfulness. I always feel that, nah, I don't care. I can do it. If I want to do it, I feel I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. I don't care about the odds if I truly want to do it, and I truly want to do it, most importantly, I always thought I have to do it. It's important that I want to do it, and I know I have to do it, but it makes it more satisfying that I'm making every step, every calculated step in each project that I do. And now having my place, I'll be able to remain focused a man has to have his place. A man has to have a job or steady income in a positive way where you know you can build off of that income and utilize it for other things. As long as you're smart, you write it down, you do your homework, you understand and comprehend, yeah, you don't have to be scared or afraid to be great and to me that's fine to be great I know that's the topic of the show don't be afraid to be great but I always wanted to be extraordinary something that you never thought about thinking about that's what I'm doing I believe home is not helpless is that medium, is that form, just one of many others. But look at me as my lips are chapped, dry mouth, trying to really keep them as wet as I can because I don't like seeing that white stuff on. I don't like that. Excuse me. I'm serious. I'm not afraid anymore of showing what I'm all about. And when you see it or you hear it, you won't believe it. But find out for yourself. You feel and do the same thing out there. Whatever it is, you take the bull by the horns like my mom says. I love her sayings. They stick with you. Take the bull by the horns. And you make every decision 
and you're accountable for it. Every decision, life is about decision. So you make the right one. Each one is an important decision, especially now for me. So don't be afraid of being great or extraordinary. I'm not saying I'm the only one that's going to be like that because there's so many other people that's extraordinary right now. So if that's my medium, not great, not fantastic, out of this world, extraordinary. You know, I set a high bar. That's how I, most people don't understand me. But that's my mentality that I come from. I have to do what nobody ever thought about doing. Now you can do it. If it's something you like and you follow. I love what I do. I'm a real person. I'm not stuck up, not vain. Strong minded, weak minded, funny, angry, just like everybody out there. We have all different sides. Don't be afraid to be great or extraordinary or beyond that. To start doing it right now. Why? Because I'm doing it right now and you see I'm doing it. And I've been homeless six years. I've had my show for one year. So you can imagine all that information I can give back. Don't be afraid to be great. Homeless Not Helpless TV. Rodney Porter. Licking his lips on the way out. Think about that. Have a good one, you guys. See ya.